Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In my previous video, I showed you how to reset the network or the Wi-Fi settings of Epson printer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the uh, printer using Wi-Fi Direct. So now the printer is not connected with any of the devices. Let's switch it on to get started. So once it's on, you will see that the network lights will light up alternately. So just wait until it fully stops. It's actually looking for connectivity between Wi-Fi Direct and the router. As we have not configured any of those two, it's going to stop. So the indicator at the bottom here is for Wi-Fi Direct. And the one at the top is to connect the printer to the Wi-Fi network using the router. In this video, I'm going to show you only how to connect using Wi-Fi Direct. If you are interested, you can also see my video on connecting this printer to the Wi-Fi network. You will see the link to the video above. Also, I'll drop the link in the description. With that, let's get started. To activate Wi-Fi Direct, press Wi-Fi and Network Information button together. As you press, you will see Wi-Fi Direct and the network lights light up alternately again. Now Wi-Fi Direct is active. So this is all you have to do to activate Wi-Fi Direct. So now for you to use the printer for printing or scanning, you will need the SSID and the password. To get the SSID and the password, all you have to do is press and hold the network information button for almost 10 seconds until the power button start blinking. This will print a network status sheet that will include the SSID and the password. So the SSID is the Wi-Fi name of your printer. So this is the Wi-Fi name that you have to select when you want to connect to the printer. And right below that you have the password. Now go to the App Store on your iPhone or the Play Store on your Android phone and search for the Epson iPrint application and download it. The Epson iPrint app is now downloaded but the printer is not selected. Now go to the settings and Wi-Fi. In here select the printer based on the SSID. Once you have selected the printer you also have to provide the password. So now the printer is connected for Wi-Fi Direct Printing. Now go back to the Epson iPrint application. In here, tap where it says printer is not selected. Tap Allow. And tap on uh, Wi-Fi Direct Setup at the bottom. And tap on printer without LCD screen and tap Done. Now the printer is listed here, just tap on it and it is connected. Now the printer is connected using Wi-Fi Direct. Now I can print or scan documents. Let's try printing a test document to see if it is working or not. This is a, a PDF document. Let's try printing it using Epson iPrint. So the printer is already selected. Print. So that's how you connect to the printer using Wi-Fi Direct. In this video, I have shown you how to connect to the printer via Wi-Fi Direct from your mobile phone. You can also connect to the printer via Wi-Fi Direct from your laptop or the computer. I have uploaded a video on how to do that. You can check out the link to the video in the description. Always remember that this printer has a unique Wi-Fi name. For you to connect to the printer via Wi-Fi Direct, you need to go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and select this SSID to connect to the printer before you print anything. If you don't like this whole thing of switching between Wi-Fi, instead you can pair your printer to your home Wi-Fi network. This way you can print any document anytime without having to switch between Wi-Fi network. Check out my video on how to connect the Epson printer to your home network. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please drop a comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video.